Hey everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. <laughs> I'm sorry that I have not been here this week. I actually did make a video on Wednesday, I believe, and I just, the lighting was so bad, the whole video was so bad, I rambled so bad that I did not post it. But it was a video on the whole like it to know or whatever. I always forget exactly what that is. Like to know it. And um, so I'm just going to say quickly what you need to do. Bubba's up here on my table. He's going to lay down. Okay, all you need to do on my Instagram to find out um, what I'm wearing, I'm going to put every detail, and that's the kind of the beauty of it, is that you can list so many more things. You can list the exact things. And before you had to sign up online and get an email. Well now, since they have this app, you can just do it right on your app. So um, here is the little ah, thing. And by the way, I got the new um, iPhone. This is the X or the 10. I don't know which one you're supposed to call it. But um, I've had it almost a month. I would say, I would say about a month because I had it I just got my hair done night before last and I had it the last time I got my hair done and um, I have had some trouble with it and I went back to I've been to Verizon twice with it John has reloaded it everything the problem I'm having is it just it just goes black and then it you can see the Apple and it starts to try to power up and um, but other than that I just love it I love the camera I love the whole scroll up and then have all your pages right there and then you have to um, hold them and then do like that. I mean, I love it. Um, so I'm glad they're going to send me another one and John will just load all my stuff back in it. But anyway, <laughs> back to the Like to Know It. Yeah, Like to Know It app. So you download that app and then you join and you can... Um, the first thing is anyone that you see that has um, that little icon or there's that little icon, the little heart. Okay, here the sun's going down. It's raining like crazy today. I'm not even really going to wear what I have on today. I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling my best today. And it's just so humid and rainy and yucky out there. I think I'm just going to put on like leggings or yoga pants or something. And, um, but we actually had to put our air condition on last night. It was 75 in here and we were about to go to bed and I was just like, I can't, it was just felt yuck. So our weather has just been crazy. But um, so once you go on this site, on your app, everyone that you follow will be, anyone that you follow and they participate in this and you have liked their pictures then you will see them on your app and then you will see this where you can shop the post then if you want to you can push the little magnifying glass and you can search um, people you know specific people that you like and you can keep them on there like um, here's something navy and that way you don't even really have to go on Instagram if you don't want to and you don't have to see all the other stuff or, you know, just depending on if you want to do that or not. Um, and then there's a section where it shows, um, see so here's when you put the, do the little people sign, it shows your influencers. So that's the people that you follow. And then I believe when you push that little um, square thing you discover so it runs people that are similar to what you have been looking at and it's really easy and up at the top it's got sale alert style tips under 50 it's just got a lot of it's basically for shopping people that love to shop so if you just want to look then you probably wouldn't care about this but if you're like me I cannot stand it when I see something that I want or that I love and they don't tell what it is and it'll be somebody that you know will never get back to your comment so I love it and I like that you can do it right on your phone now so that's why I started doing it um, before I just thought it was a little I don't know I just felt like it was too complicated but now and it's kind of fun because um, I guess it's something new something new for me to do and like I can list every little thing like right down to um, I didn't know that people were doing this until I got that, but you can even list like your undergarments and stuff, which 
is not a big deal unless it's something like the yummy tummy um, thongs that I have, which I think are amazing, and I think they make every outfit better. Or if you are wearing um, some certain fancy bra or something like that. Um, and that's questions I get asked a lot is what what bra do you wear with that? Or what bra are you wearing with that? Because it, you know, let's face it, undergarments make a big difference, especially um, when you're not, you know, really, 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 really thin. And you know what I mean. <laughs> so um, that is that. And I have enjoyed it. Okay, so I did get some things this week that I am going to show you real quick. Um, not too much. I posted on Instagram yesterday that I went to Sephora. I had a whole list of things that I wanted to look at at the mall. And um, so I went to um, Sephora first and um, I got color matched. And I thought I was getting color matched for the new foundation, but I am so behind. It was the NARS All Day Luminous Foundation that I was getting color matched for, which was, um, a little bit darker. I was the light medium six, and um, the shade that I ended up liking the most was the five uh, Fiji. So when I was checking out, the manager of Sephora said, we did get that new found NARS foundation in, we just don't have the testers. And I said, well, if you just have the bottle, I'll just buy the bottle. I don't need to test it out because their computer said whatever you wear in the All Day Luminous is what you would wear in this. So this is what I got is the Natural Radiant Long Wear Foundation in Light 5 Fiji. Is it Fiji or Fuji? Fiji. And so that is what I have on today and I love it. Now, every foundation is gonna have to live up to my YSL. I just got more of that and more of the primer in the mail from Sephora. I didn't think you needed to see it, but there is just, that foundation sets the bar so high that I have given away, I bet I've given away um, 20 bottles of foundation to my friends and family because it's like, I've been kind of going through them and if they don't measure up, they're out unless there's something I really, really like. And, um, but this one, when I put it on, I can say I really like it. Um, I love the color. And I wanted to say, um, I'm gonna show you a Dior foundation I got too, and I mistakenly got the darker one. It is so hard, sorry my Invisalign, it's so hard to get color matched when you already have all of your makeup on, because even when they take off a swatch, it's almost like they're matching what you have on, and what I have on is, you know, probably four layers of products, and I really like to start off with the lightest, that will match my skin. I don't want it to be so light that it looks like a mask, but I think a lighter look looks best on me, and I would prefer going in with contour and bronzer than I would to, some people prefer to go in with their darker of their skin tones, and then go in with concealer and do all that shape tape type stuff. And that just doesn't work well with me. I, okay, I had to put Bub outside for a little time out. Anyway, um, I just think, I know that I feel like I look younger, brighter. I hate it when I say younger because I'm just, I just wanna look the best I can look. I'm not really striving to look younger. Like when people tell me I don't have, when I don't have lashes or makeup on, I look so much younger. That's not really my goal because I'm pretty happy <laughs> with my age. I'm not really, you know, striving to look younger. I just want to look the best that I can look. And I have a, we all have a vision of what we think looks good. And so anyway, for my vision, I think that I look better when I start off with a lighter foundation. So give that a try and then go in with your face powders and stuff like that. And then, you know what I just thought of? I did not even fix plus my face today and I still have a good glow. And that says something good about this, that it's not too, powdery. The coverage was amazing. I used my same It Cosmetics brush. Um, it did take a little bit more. It took two pumps instead of one like it does with the YSL, but that YSL is just, it's, I don't know anything that's going to measure up to that as far as the coverage with the lightest amount. But um, anyway, so far so good. I would definitely say 
try it. If you like what I like, I think that you will love it. If you like the YSL, I think you will love it. Um, we'll just see how it wears and all that kind of good stuff. Okay, so I put that to the side here on my new table. This is my first video with my new chairs. I don't know if you can see them back there. They're like pretty little. I took a picture and um, at the end, I'll show you. Okay, for a primer today, I have on this. Denise sent it to me. She said it's supposed to be the latest and greatest. And I'm not sure if I have tried this before. Um, I'm not sure but I used it today. It is the Shiseido um, Ibuki Smart Filtering Smoother. And so I put that on first. It was about the same consistency as the YSL that I like. And um, so we'll see how it goes, but everything blended nicely on it and everything. And my face has been, I had to break out my Colleen Rothschild Enzyme um, scrub last night because I had so much skin when you're on retin-a and vitamin c and all that stuff and the weather goes cold i think right there in a snap like that i just had like it wasn't like flaky skin it was just like the whole like top layer of my skin all around here just started separating and rolling off come came off so i did that last night so my face is pretty smooth okay now i had mentioned the dior dior skin forever undercover this is a high pigment water-based foundation, full coverage. And I posted a picture this week on Instagram where I was wearing the original one that I got um, when I went to the counter. And it is number 31 um, Sable. And I like it, but it's too dark. I put it on yesterday and it was just, I mean, it's, I had it on in that picture and um, which she had already pretty much color matched me then, but it's just darker than I want. But I didn't want to take it back because I thought, well, it might be good in the summertime. It might be good to mix in with things. And I just, I wasn't ready to take it back yet. So I went back yesterday when I was at the mall and I ended up getting number 21. Um, okay, and this, oh, I put it on my phone so I could tell you. Let's see, I did uh, screenshots of, okay. Okay, the linen that I ended up going back and getting is um, light with warm yellow undertone. Now the um, Sable 31, the first one that I got is light to medium with warm yellow undertone. So, you know, there you go. If you're, that'll help you. I, I usually do like the light, but medium might be good for the summertime, or I thought maybe I'll have to mix them. But, um, so I haven't tried this yet because I decided to wear this one today. So we'll see. But when I tried it the other day and wore it in yesterday, it was really good. It was better than most of the water-based ones that I've tried, but I feel like I haven't given it a fair shot yet. So, okay, when I was at Sephora, um, Mallory that was helping me, she was so sweet and she was really good at helping me. Um, she said that this was a new primer that she was loving and that so many people loved and it's the Peter Thomas Roth Skin to Die For. No filter, mattifying primer and collection complexion filter. And of course I haven't tried it yet because I am using the Ibuki today, but I will let you know how this goes. Um, if not before, maybe the next video, or if not before, the next Friday. I will try to make a note tonight to let you know. I'm gonna try to be better at that this year, of saying I'll let you know. I'm gonna try to really let you know, like in a week's time, what I think about it. That way you can um, see what I think. So we'll try that. Um, okay, my lip today, I wanted to do more of a nude lip because I've been doing the colored lips. And this is one of the new Buxom Va Va Plump Shiny Liquid Lipstick. And this is the Honeydew, which is one of the, there was one lighter that was nude and then it was this one. I think the lighter one might be like White Russian or it might even be White Russian. And I thought, well, that might be too light. So I got this one and I do like it. I wish it was a little bit lighter, but this one probably looks better on me. Um, red lips. I asked you guys, what are your favorite red lips? And I have taken several screenshots, which I can still 
scroll back and look at your answers but sometimes when i'm at places to shop i can't they their signal isn't good and i can't pull up instagram where it takes forever to load but anyway so i plan on getting several of those um, i know i want to get the chanel um there's a chanel red that is so popular and everybody loves it it's like a classic chanel red i'll put down here what it is but i want to try that one i've got some that i really like already like the charlotte tilbury hollywood i believe that's one of my favorites i like um lady danger i like um there's several from mac i already have but anyway several of you andy may several of you said that you like this um, NARS li lipstick and it's the NARS Cruella lip pencil and they just happen to have it you know at that little my Ulta sells NARS in a little end cap and um, so I grabbed it and I haven't worn it yet because I have been doing other things wearing other lips but I will wear this soon so if you don't follow me on Instagram you can follow me on Instagram or now you can load that like to know it like it to know app you could just follow me there and I'll put I'm going to try to every day post something, either an outfit, um, maybe some home stuff. I'm going to try to be more active because I want to challenge myself. I want something needs to, you know, I want to do new stuff. So anyway, thank you for that suggestion and I will try it soon. Okay, these are two things that I was waiting for last week and the snow um interrupted them and it's two charlotte tilbury palettes both of these i think one of them i've actually had before and sold it and then i wanted to try it again that happens but that only happens a little bit it doesn't happen enough i still think it's worth purging and getting rid of your things and um, the one i have on today is the dolce vita and i think what really inspired me to get both of these is just constantly seeing these in ads like looks that i like and so this is what i have on today you can see it's just like the warm colors um and i did it just like she says where you do the all over color then you do this color in the crease and on the lid and then you do this color on the outer v and a little bit in the crease and then i put the glittery part right on the top of my eyelid and so love that and then um, the video that i made the other day um, i actually wore this and i still have it so i may post just a little bit of that video at the end of this video just so you can see this on my eyes because it was so pretty and it was so different um it's kind of like a pamela anderson where it's more of that cool tone smoky eye i did use soft brown but i needed to use maybe a little bit more but um anyway here it is and it's just really pretty i mean just really pretty it just reminds me of like bunny rabbit like a gray bunny rabbit those tones and i've always been a sucker for gray and pink and um that's kind of how it is it's just really really pretty so no regrets on that hey, i think that is it for makeup today um let me go ahead and do my outfit of the day um that chair i don't know if that chair is going to be the right chair for me to sit in for my videos because it's rocky and everything else but um i have on this lathe dress from nordstrom and um it will i will feel a lot better in it and it will look better when i lose the rest of my probably about i'm gonna lose about seven or eight more pounds and but i just wanted to show it to you and i've got on um okay and then i've got it on with my stuart weitzman um all jill boots that come up almost over the knee and i would wear hose but because my legs are so white and out of shape i need to start doing my lunges but it's hot today and i'm probably not going to wear this anyway so <laughs> That's terrible. But anyway, I got it in the black and I got it in the navy. And then I got this dress that I love. This was one of John's favorites. I had a fashion show last night. And I should have taken pictures, but really, I, I will really feel better in about a week or two weeks probably. But I love that. And it's from that brand um, Felicity and Coco. And um, it's a medium. And this that I have on today too is a medium. 
and um, sometimes I'm not crazy about that zipper down the back, but these don't haven't bothered me. They're not, they're good zippers. They don't bunch up. And then I got this one that is also from Felicity and Coco. And I believe I got this in a medium also. Yes, medium. And this one is really pretty. These are kind of like, um, what I like is, I'm gonna say housewife dresses. There's two kinds of dresses that I look for. Um, one is like a, um, here, let me sit down. One is kind of like a house dress, I call them, where, like this one that I have on, where it's thin, it's cottony, I can throw it on and just wear it around the house, take a nap in it, I feel good, I go to the grocery store. It's kind of like a casual, everyday dress. And then these other dresses are kind of like, I call them housewife dresses, but I mean like um, Yolanda, Yolanda Foster, um, Lisa Renna. I love those dresses that they wear um, on the show. Um, Lisa Vanderpump, she wears a lot of skirts, but those type of dresses where they're not like a cocktail dress, but they're just a little bit of a step up from, you know, a house dress to me. And um, I know that mostly what they wear is the Victoria Beckham dresses. And that is my dream is to have some of her dresses. But the bad thing is I don't know what size I would wear and they're really expensive. And I just haven't gone for it. I know I could probably order one from Netta Porter or something like that and send it back. So one day I might spring for it, but these kind of remind me of that and it's what I like. They look good with um, all of my pumps, you know, the nude pumps. They look good with um, my Prada sling back, um, like sandals that I have. I just love them. These are some of my favorite dresses. So I will be right back and then I'm gonna show you some artwork that I have been sent and one piece I kind of bought <laughs> and um, some other things that I had framed. So I'll be right back. Okay, this is probably not the best lighting and angle for me, <laughs> but I am not worried about what I look like right now. I just wanted to show you some things. Bubba, here's Bubba up here. Okay, um, this is the drawing that Denise sent me of my other Gucci handbag. I had that framed and I picked it up yesterday. And I was just gonna show that to you. This is a canvas that Brooke did for me in her art class. And I and believe I'm gonna hang that in the hallway um, from the kitchen to their bedrooms. I have another picture of her when she was little that I might replace with that. And then this is from Catherine. And this is Catherine Steinham. And this is the lion that she used for the Christmas card that she sent me. And it is called a Golden Spirit. And a lot of you guys saw this on my Instagram or saw it on her Instagram and then I showed you the card. So I just think he is so pretty. I love the gold. You guys know I love stuff like this. I love how sweet his face is and the blue eyes and the crazy big hair like mine usually. And um, so thank you so much, Catherine. I'm gonna put her Instagram page down below. And um, I think I've got a wall right there. I think that he's probably gonna live over there in my dining room. And then this is from my friend Diane that I have met here on YouTube and then I've met her through my Nate. And she lives in New Bern, right up the road from me. So I met her halfway and um, she sent me a picture of this. She is an artist and her artwork is in a, like an art museum or an art gallery, <laughs> museum, an art gallery. So she went and got this for me and um, she gifted me her half and then I paid for what the museum was charging. So. And it is a nude, of course, and I just think it is so pretty. And this lady has been all around my house. She looked really pretty in my bedroom, but I just, I'm loving the open, kind of nothing, just real open walls in my bedroom. So I didn't keep her in there. And then um, I took her upstairs and she really does look good in my room upstairs too. And then last night when I was, you know, putting stuff in my buffet and stuff that I'm gonna show you, I brought her down and oh, she just looks really good in here. Now, John, you know, is conservative and it's not that he's weirded out by a nude 
you know, painting, but he just said he didn't know about it in the dining room. So I'm hoping that he will see how good it looks and it will go over, but I just think she's beautiful. And um, so I will put Diane's information down below too. I have saved these to open with you guys and I'm going to kind of turn the camera and maybe angle it down so that I can open these. Okay, this is the card from Catherine. Look at how pretty that is. I love it. John really loved that. And um, so that is the Bell Siren. And here is the note. And um, the petite, okay, please enjoy this petite art and the painting. It was my pleasure creating these pieces for you. Best regards, Catherine. So nice. I am so, I mean, this has been one of the best, most rewarding things to do is to redo my home. And even though it's, you know, it's been tough on John, <laughs> he has been a trooper. You guys would not believe all the stuff he has had to put together and haul in and out of here, go to the trash dump and take stuff, boxes and everything. Um, he has done really well. But anyway, this is how she sent this, the petite art to me. And I just, I couldn't, I did not want to unwrap it until I showed you guys. Look at how beautiful all of this is. So I'm going to unwrap these and then I'll show you each one. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, you guys. Oh, this like takes my breath away. Wait till you see these. I'm so glad I waited to do this. They're like little cards that she made that you can send people. And I can already tell I may be hiring Catherine to paint me a picture of some of these. This collection is called the Noble Beast. And look at that. And then she, you know, it says, oh, it says the Temple of the Tiger. Gosh, that is so beautiful. And then you have the ribbon and everything to write what you want. Okay, and here is my joyful... I can't remember what he's called now. My joyful lion. And then look at this one. Oh my goodness, what is he called? Hail to the king. This is like, could not be more up my alley, but this one. Catherine, I can already tell you, go ahead and get your, get your canvas or whatever ready. Oh, I love this so much. And this is the Dark Prince. He is magnificent. Oh, that is beautiful. So how cool are these? And I'm not sure, I'll bet that she sells these sets like this. So neat. I know Diane makes um, small little artwork too. Um, okay, gosh, this is exciting. Okay, so let's put that there. This collection is the fairies. So, oh man. Okay, this is the Gypsy Girl and the Fairies. Okay, this one is the Pretty Thief. It is um, in the flowers that you hold. I'll take a thousand strands of gold. <laughs> oh, Catherine, I think I just had a, one of your cat hairs in here, which I love. She has kitty cats too. So Temptation. Autumn comes too soon to take the last of, to take the last rose of summer. Um, the courtship of the raven's lovely daughter. Taken by the fair, taken by the fairies. Her writing is really pretty too. Taken by the fairies. Okay, and then romantic images. Ooh, I bet I'm gonna love this too. Winter song. Oh. So pretty. Winter song. He was a kind beast, though, though his form was quite frightening. Like Beauty and the Beast. That was one of my favorite books that my mom used to read to me when I was little. I can remember that. Oh, this is so pretty with the unicorn, the golden deer. D-E-A-R. <laughs> and this is the collection, um, Les Belles Femmes. This is Chrysanthemum. 
Sorry, I should have done a whole video on this. Oh my gosh, I love this. This is called Raven Dower. Oh gosh, look at this. Beautiful Miss Sweden. Love it. I love risque art. I mean, there's some things that I, there's a couple of like photos and stuff I've seen on Pinterest that I probably couldn't have on YouTube. And it would take a person knowing me to really get it. And my mom said, well, those are the things you put in your bedroom or your bathroom or something where only you see. So I might end up doing some stuff like that. Oh, that is so pretty. San Francisco, look at that. Oh, beautiful. Winter in Paris. Friends. Oh, I love this. Wow. Summertime, summertime, sweet, sweet summertime. Isn't that funny that I love it? Oh gosh. I can see in my future some more of these. Okay, and then the last one, the last collection is the Mermaids. Okay, Neptune's Daughters. Look at that color. That's the color of my front door. It's called Liberty Blue. Love it. Okay. Guardian of the Fishes. This is Beware of Beauty. Okay. Mermaid of the Bo Bosphorus. I can really tell some thought has been put into all of this. This one has a shoe and everything. Oh, it's a slipper. So pretty. The slipper shoe. Gosh. Love even all the detail, like on the faces, like makeup, coloring. This is so pretty. This is an, uh, I love how they're different sizes too. The Golden Child. Ooh, I don't want to lose my. And she includes the ribbon to tie them together with. Oh, this one's pretty. This one reminds me of the colors my grandmother used to love, my dad's mom. Yep, and a starfish. Oh, and it's got a little dragon like um, Khaleesi. <laughs> Beloved. Her and her dragons. Oh, love that. Wow. This really is like Khaleesi with the dragon when she flew with those things all around. Look at that. This is called our Sleepy Dragon. That is beautiful. So thank you so much to Catherine and Diane and Denise for sending me the Gucci one. Thank you for everyone for my artwork. It has been so much fun. I mean, you guys know, it's been a lot of fun doing this and it's been fun kind of taking you with me and keep in mind, I'm not, I'm trying on purpose to find good deals on things too because I'm doing exactly what I want to. I'm not worrying about, oh, is this gonna be too trendy or is this gonna be in style? next year. I'm getting exactly what I want. I'm not married to anything that I get. I haven't spent a fortune on anything. And that way when I am tired of it, I will redo it. And because now that I know how much I do love the updates and everything. Um, so let me get my camera and I will back up and show you everything. Okay, so I'm backing up now. And that mirror I've had for a while, I actually got it when I was doing my room upstairs. And it's one of those things that's kind of how I like to shop is when I see something I like, I get it. And then I don't know where it's going to end up going, but, and I don't know what will end up going there. Or I have also these walls and then there is my kitchen and that, that photo right there and that cart probably are not going to stay there, but it's just temporary. And um, so I have these walls and then that is the buffet that I bought from West Elm and love it okay this is my table that i just showed you last week from world market and then those are the chairs that i linked at overstock i got the four gray chairs and they're that nice brand that um here is the label the tov and um let me get down and show you Look what's right there. I meant to tell you about I did get a new pair of Uggs. Um, both of my kids wore my Uggs in the snow and pretty much ruined them. So I bought another pair of just the plain Uggs in black. 
Um, wish I would have just gotten the chestnut again. The black is just so black. But um, those are just my everyday morning and night, you know, slippers. But um, so there are the chairs. I love the legs, the velvet. I love that, you know, modern style. And then this is one of my favorite things. And it is a bench that I got from, I think, I, yeah, I got that from West Elm too. And here is Bubba laying beside the cat scratchers. And so I've got the bench on this side. Originally, John put it on the other side and the bench looks much better over here. And then, um, so this is me coming in the front door. And then, um, like I told you, the light fixture. And then this whole dresser thing. I originally bought this dresser when I used to sew. I used to sit right there when Will was a baby and Brooke was little and that was my spot for sewing because I could see everybody. And I had that dresser behind me to put all of my stuff in, like, you know, um, the backing, this, everything. I put it in there. Well, now I really don't need that, so I'm gonna get rid of this dresser completely and just have nothing there. And um, then that's my Sully Lisa Lips print from upstairs. I moved it because I got the closet, the shelving in upstairs. And then that is a, I don't know if I've ever shown this to you guys. Um, let me see if I can zoom in. That is one of the, um, it's like on metal. It's from the artist or photographer artist here, one of my friends and um, her name is Bridget. And this is actually a, it's in New York. It's a photo that she took around Christmas, I believe. And it is a window, like a mannequin in the window. And then the building is actually the building behind her. And then you can actually, I think you can almost see her taking the picture. And I just thought it was so pretty. And I love the colors, the grays and stuff. So um, I don't know what where it'll end up going. And then here is a picture of the um, buffet again. And I love like the legs. So I guess, you know, most things that I'm picking out are modern, mid-century modern, um, glam. These are the filters that I kind of do. Or I love when I look at, you know, on Pinterest, I love looking at the Hollywood Regency. Just, you know, I'm trying to just mix it up a little bit. And then um, just see, I'm thinking about maybe putting a full length mirror there if I don't use that one. We'll just have to see. So I hope you liked this and um, I'm gonna go ahead and sign off and I will see you guys real soon. Bye bye. And this one is Uptown Girl. And I kept seeing this. I don't know if I would have gotten it had I not seen it on several different people and ads lately.